Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and today I will be showing you a short demonstration of authentication failback on HP Aruba OS 16X switches. Um, the authentication fallback is used when a radius server becomes unavailable. So if you have a 802.1x enabled client and you um, you know you have to access the network the authentication takes place against the radius server if that radius server becomes unavailable um, the authentication will fail and the client will not have access to the network with the authentication fallback mechanism that is supported on the Aruba OS 16.x access switches you can still um, access uh, the network although the radius servers are not available anymore So let me show you how it's achieved. Configuration straightforward on the switch. Um, we've defined a ready server host, which is a ClearPass server. And we have enabled the authenticator on port 1, which is the PC running 802.1x. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable and enable the port. So that we trigger 802.1x authentication. And logging in. You can see that the port becomes online. The radio server is available. Let me do a show port access client detail one. You can see that the user is authenticated and it should receive an IP address shortly. And let's check the access tracker. You can see that the authentication is successful. Users granted access. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the radius server and change it to a non-existent radius server so that we force the um, authentication failure. Radius server host 10.1.19. Let's just give it a fake P address and disable the port again. Okay, and also look at check out the uh, events on the switch. You can see that the switch cannot reach the radio server, but let's still try and log in. So what you'll see eventually is a message that the fallback method is used. You can see that here, authorized and port is now online. So still port access client detail one. You can see that it's authenticated and online. And also let me just show you the IP address information. So it's getting an IP address and everything. So it's been placed in the right VLAN. Um, again, just quickly check the configuration. Pretty straightforward. Define the radius host and some accounting parameters. And we set the uh, port access to EAP radius with a authorized fallback. Final test, um, showing a network trace uh, of what's happening. Uh, so disable port again enable to trigger the authentication you can see the EAP packets coming in uh, user one uh, ready server still unavailable um, 
one other thing to check is uh, the uh, local area network adapter settings so what we're doing is we're using a secure password EAP MS chap um, with chap there's a mutual uh, authentication so this means that the client expects um, a response back uh, which it doesn't get obviously so eventually you get the authentication failed situation on the local area network adapter uh, which is not a problem because um, what we have oh, what we have is um, we have the fallback to unauthorized network access option enabled and let me just quickly show you the EAP you can see that there is a success uh, coming back a POL success packet coming back from the switch to to the client so I said you can see here that the authentication has failed but uh, we do have network access so this concludes this demonstration on authentication fallback thanks for watching I hope you liked it and hope to see you soon